In Hanover County, we pride ourselves in embracing this idea of continuous improvement. Uh, the wonderful thing about the agriculture program here in Hanover at Atley, uh, Mr. Moran recognizes that and so knew that our traditional approach to agriculture education would not necessarily be embraced by our students. So our program had changed, our community had changed, and uh, it was a logical fit to move to a, a turf science um, focus. In a declining economy, we've had less uh, movement towards the golf segment of this industry and more people now as students and graduates are looking to get into sports turf management, uh, professional lawn care. We worked with uh, the State Department of Education to uh, build a state curriculum for turf and since then uh, it's kind of grown. There's other schools in our uh, general area that have the same program. Mark's program uh, is such a great program because it gives people a chance to get out and do uh, things with turf and plants to really see if that's something they want to do. You know, the, the focus on career path from uh, Mr. Moran's program I think has been great over the years. The opportunity for these guys to even before they graduate get involved in some internships, maybe some part-time work throughout their education uh, at the high school level will certainly help them. The knowledge that they're getting on, on turf and on plants uh, through the classes is, is essential. We learn about different types of grass, plants, and um, how to paint the fields. This is uh, not just mowing grass. It's actually, you know, soil science. It's chemistry. It's mathematics. Math. Very much math. There's a lot of math that's involved. Communication skills, public speaking, um, being able to, to write, uh, especially when it comes to uh, you know, just proposals and those types of things. I think a business uh, background, just academics and general accounting, understanding budgets and, and, and how things are purchased. You gotta be able to work with different people. And I have a bunch of employees that don't speak much English, so you really have to, you know, you have to learn their language and they learn your language, so you have to use both. You gotta be a plant person, so you're gonna take a lot of biology and chemistry classes mathematics in terms of even doing simple things like measuring uh, units out and knowing how much area that you're working with uh, is very important. And then business and communication skills, which are often things that people overlook, but you've got to be able to talk the language and you've got to be able to manage money as well as managing people. You like learn to like work as a team because you can't just go out there by yourself and do it. So the idea of problem solving, critical thinking, uh, creativity and innovation are four things, four areas that this agriculture program, the turf management program specifically, at Atlee capitalizes on. And we're so fortunate to have Mr. Moran, to have the support of our community, and to have students who are willing and interested in this particular area. There's a lot of jobs that no one, uh, you know, that fall under agriculture that no one ever thinks about. Uh, there's guys that are spraying chemicals on, on roadsides for VDOT. There's the whole uh, greenhouse market. You know, people automatically think, uh, when they think agriculture, they think of someone on a John Deere tractor out uh, working a field, and it's so much, so much more than that. There's just a lot of growth that most people aren't aware of. I mean, look at, you turn the TV on, you see a baseball game, football game, soccer game, golf, it's all done by professionals. Um, it's not, it's not just cutting grass. There are plenty of opportunities out there if you look in the right place. We've got students that have been involved in uh, professional athletics, whether it be in soccer, or baseball. Uh, I have a couple students who work in the collegiate area, um, professionally, um, baseball coaches that have a lot of experience, a lot of guys that go into just personal home, lawn and garden, landscape operations, turf uh, mowing and, and, and landscape care operations. And then we also have guys involved in the golf course industry. My second year taking Mr. Moran's class here at Adley, I also work at a golf course part-time. So once the summer hits, I pretty much work uh, Monday through Friday. You have to be up real early for a job like that. If it's a game day, I am at the ballpark at 8 in the morning and usually don't leave until 2 in the morning. Definitely a uh, golf course you could continue to work up. Like right now, I'm just a you know, operator there but I could become a superintendent of a golf course, which is very high responsibility, but they pay you very well. My office is three acres big, and I get to come out to it every day. Uh, you know, it's green, it's manicured perfectly. Not too many people can say that, you know, their office is three acres large. Do I wish they would all go into a turf-related field? Sure, heck yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. But, you know, the life, you know, true life is, they're all going in a different direction, and you just hope that what you maybe taught them as work ethic you know, honor, character, 
you know, all those types of things carry with them to whatever they do.